see your face, baby. Is there something burning in there, honey? Mm -hmm. You put what in? Yeah, I put a little bit of You put a mini in. little cute little dugger in there. Hello, dark stream. Wait till it's like frying. Hello. Hey guys, I'm going to start making my malasadas now. I'm making it up a little bit. So to make malasadas, I have to make it long. Because this guy doesn't like the Hawaiian, the Hawaiian style malasadas. I don't know which one the Hawaiian style is. Apparently, there's a Hawaii style of this one. The thicker one. There's a thicker Hello. one and there's a thinner one. Stop. Hey. Yeah, I thought you'd like the thinner one. Because last time I made a thick one once and then you just like, no, I don't want that one. I like it, honey. We're frying one up a little bit. You guys can see that little dot in the pan? She's frying one as like a test or something. For the TikTok live, welcome. It's floating now, so it's time to like buy more. The old Skyler, I'm sorry. Sorry to wake you up. Time to add this. To do it in the oil. It's burning like a chooch. My stomach hurts. Do I have to fast? Please tell me. You'd have to make that decision and maybe contact a doctor if it's very serious. Um, if it's just a general stomach pain that you think you can get through, then we just like fast through it. But they're great with salted plum and vanilla custard. Okay. You don't have either of those. We don't have either of those, but we'll keep that in mind if we ever get that. Thank you. Donuts. Malasadish. Yeah. You eat it up a bit. No, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I wanted to go to medical school when I was younger, but no doctor here. They're supposed to be like triangular shaped. I'm heading to Ben. Good night. Gabby, good night. Okay. With all the clothing, she kind of looks like a priest in a cool way. <laughs> I'd say more a nun than a priest, but like... No, she's not a doctor. Guys, look at how that looks. Do you read the Quran every day? We should do that. Walaikum as I woke up goals. from praying one hour ago. Nice. Hungry for donuts now. Wow. My, path, my name is Mehdi and this is Mubina. Look at that, guys. My wife is Mubina. Oh, it's fried it up. So we gotta put, we're frying this dough and then we're gonna dunk it in some sugary stuff. Weren't you Christian? I was. What time is it there? It's like almost 12 a.m. We have five prayers, five mandatory prayers per day. You can do extra as well, but we mandatory is five prayers. Donuts, donuts, ye. These are Portuguese donuts. Yes. So, and then we're gonna like sugar them in like the cinnamon sugar thing I made because we can't find cinnamon sugar anywhere. Trust me, it doesn't look like anything yet, guys. I'm saying it's look good, but thank you, but it doesn't look anything yet. When it goes in the sugary fudgy, then you'll know. Do you know any Portuguese words? My mom speaks fluent Portuguese. I was never taught. It's like, it's just a couple of words. I don't know much. Bom dia, obrigada, sim, now. I don't know. There's more words I'm sure I've heard, but like I don't know many. Just like bubbles in here. Get rid of all those bubbles because of the yeast. Take your malasadas, Dark. <laughs> yes, I was Christian, guys, and I became Muslim. Like almost four years ago. Alhamdulillah. You guys want to hear it? I have my convert story on YouTube if you want to hear it. So those are huge donuts. Isn't it supposed to be a whole mint? It's a Portuguese donut. Mashallah. Thank you. So it's so not going to be like... These donuts are not going to have holes in It's not like a typical American donut. This is a Portuguese donut. So there is a little bit... Sometimes people like put a little pit in the middle of it. They kind of push it in, but... What a good Muslim you are. Only Allah knows what. Thank you. <laughs> I'm happy I got to make it to this one. I missed out on the other one. Guys, Faith, welcome to this one. It's nice to have you on this live. Yes. The other one was pretty entertaining. <laughs> you can go check that one out after if you want. But it's almost ready, guys. Look, have look how fluffy house. it is. Look how fluffy this is. But it's cooking right now, so. Fluffy it up. Wait till you dip it in the cinnamon. Your wife seems to be from Pakistan. Yes, she is. My wife. <laughs> She's from Pakistan. Your wife? I wish, guys, we have so much dough. You guys see that bowl, that steel guys, bowl back there? Guys, can you there? help us, like, eat all of that? Because there's, I'm, 
there's kind of no worried way there's we too can much finish all of like, that. Like, we need you guys to come here. Legit. Some of you guys come over here and, like, we'll have a bunch Okay, yeah, it's golden brown now. It's you golden. see that golden brown? You guys want to see the golden brown? This is the color that we want. We Pakistanis have an accent, yes. Can I ask you guys, like, what time do you break your fast? It's it's close to, like, around 8 o'clock-ish time. Around that area. You guys are inspirational. Thank you for teaching us what Islam. Do you live in Alberta, Ontario? Plus hey job style, yes. Yee. Look at that golden brown color. That beautiful golden brown color. Golden brown beauty. Ooh, that's a nice donut, honey. Puffy donut, tasty. I'm from Pakistan. A lot of yeast makes it puffy. For iftar, if you guys want to know, we had for iftar, we made a live on it, actually. We cooked the iftar on live. It was um, uh, rice and lentils. It was good. I know you guys are all different time zones. Some of you guys are having sahur. Some of you guys are fasting. Some of you guys are having iftar. So. I just hope it fits in here. Hey, guys. One day, I'll also convert to Islam. Inshallah. Wish me luck, guys. AJ. May Allah make it easy for you. I mean, it would be awesome if you wanted to take that step. Fry it up a bit. Yes, yeah, she is cute. We just finished so poor here in Cairo. Daniela, nice. We know someone, a couple that actually recently went to Egypt. It looks beautiful there. Nice fresh food, everything. It looks very nice. Yo, I missed the kitchen fire. Hannah, yes. <laughs> But it's there. I, t I put the timestamp if you want to see it in the other live when the kitchen fire happened. Be careful, guys. Note to self, if you ever have an oil fire in okay. your kitchen, make sure to cover it with something and turn the stove off so you can like get rid of the oxygen and like, smother it. Time to sugar it up. We're sugaring it up. Sugar it up. Sugar gotcha, it up. too. We love your TikToks. Thank you. Guys, we're sugaring it up. This is where we're going to get Here. This is This is the fun part that Garrett gets to do. Here. Yes, honey. Flip it and sugar it up while I add the next one. Oh, yo, it smells in. good. Now I add the next one in. Oh, look at this. Oh, this. Ow. Are you okay, honey? Yeah, I just spilled some oil on me. Oh, no. That's okay. It's fine. You're okay? I'm good. Don't worry. Guys, look how fast this one's going to get made. This is cinnamon sugar, guys. It's going to be so... Oh, it smells delicious. It smells like a bakery in here, guys. Yee. Look how fast that one got made. We're gonna do a taste test. You guys can also put, if you want, different toppings. I've even put Nutella on these before, and they're really good. So, is this hot? Yeah, it's kind of hot. I lift it up for you guys, but. Yeah. Bro, stop. Arvin, I'm sorry if you're fasting. There's always gonna be someone fasting, that's the thing. <laughs> I want to have it. Guys, we have a lot here. Come get some. No, you put that on this, Garrett. You want to hear? the plate. Here. Is it done? Yes, honey. It's done being sugar? Yeah, I sugared it up a bit. Are you sure? It yeah. doesn't look like it's completely sugar. Oh, this side isn't sugar, honey. I think we're going to run out of sugar, eh, honey? There's so much dough. <laughs> Where do I put this container already? Over here? Yes. This is kind of like a tradition, guys, that we've done, I think, the last couple of Ramadans, or was it last year we started? No, the first year I moved in with you. The first year. So it's been like two years of this. Um, so it's nice if you guys have a traditional food that you can make with your spouse. And Mubino was nice enough to learn a dish from my culture. So I do appreciate Before that. Before this, guys, I've never made malasadas in my life. I think this one looks way more malasadish. It looks like a lot like a funnel cake. It's kind of like a funnel cake. I, I actually like this better than a funnel cake. It's just the dough. Look at this one. This it, one looks does... like a perfect malasadas. It's always the second one that looks way better. It's got that little indent there. Can you parcel it to me? <laughs> you are Portuguese. I am half Portuguese. May Allah Ta'ala bless you in this pure and pious month of Ramadan and may your all dreams come true. Allah Akko Salamat Raki or Habisha Kush Raki. Amin. Amin. Is Mubina upset that Imran Khan was removed as Pakistan Prime Minister? I think we're all upset about that. No one, I don't know anyone happy about that. Hello, Julie. I'm upset about that. <laughs> I'm yeah, because you know Pakistan is doing good and then 
Well, doing better, at least, and then this guy got kicked out, so. Imran Khan for Prime Minister President. Okay, this one's done too. I wanna eat now, ye. We're not trying to tease you guys who are fasting, we just have it here. Hello again, Kelly, welcome back. Yes, we have pets, guys. We showed Hazel in our last live. I'm not Pakistan, sorry. We already ate our iftar. <laughs> you missed my comment. What did you say? Make dua for Indian Muslims. Things are going south there. May Allah ease the hardship right, that guys, they're facing in India. Time honey. to show you the next malasadas. Is wearing a long shirt and jeans haram? Um, are you a guy or a girl? Okay, I don't okay. know. What... Sugar this up. No sugar it up. Look at this. I don't know what you're referring to, what clothing, but so I can't really tell you. And. You might want to ask a scholar about that too. So this is a big one. I have to flip it around. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> Gary, what are you doing? I'm trying to squish it in the... I'd use my hands to like get this on, but it's just very hot because it just came out. Trying to get sugar on it, honey. Mm, kind of scoop some on. Like that. That looks like a good one, Rubina. I told you. Looks like a little boat of sugar. Guys, the shape actually does not have to be perfect. That's the best part about malasadas. Here, honey. You're doing it a little indentation. Put one on the plate, honey. Easy. I think that might be it after that. I don't know if we're going to eat all that. I'm going to make more after this. Okay. They're addicting. Yes, we have two cats. Should I take my shahada? If you're ready to, you can do it. It's not for me to tell you that. It's up to you to decide for yourself. Good morning from Jeremy to both of you and all you other guys. Good morning. I feel like chocolate or cream would be good on those. Yes, absolutely. Try chocolate on it. You can try Nutella on it. It's really good. My wife's been Muslim her whole life. This takes me back to breaking homemade donuts with my parents. That's awesome. Guys, smash the like button. Let's reach more people. If you guys are enjoying this, you want to see more of this, smash it up a bit. Smash the like button. Faith, if I have dogs in my house but can't control that, should I live with my dad who has a cat? I've been planning on it. Mm. That's a tough call. That's a difficult situation. They cook really fast once you start pouring them in. It just depends. Like, if, if you're trying to pray in your home, it's kind of difficult if you have a dog because we believe the, the dog's saliva is impure. So, that's a decision. You might have to contact a scholar about that faith to confirm. Mm. Just hit the like button. Yes, AD. Welcome back. Yes, we're from Canada. How do you Ontario. make that indent in the middle? They just press on it. I am pressing on it, but it doesn't work. It's because it's too thin and too like long. If you make it smaller and just push a little bit. Okay, let's make one that's smaller and I'll push a little bit. Let's see if that works. That would be my last Ooh. one. Have you read baklava? Yes. That's actually a cultural food from Armenia, my country, but I don't really like it that much. <laughs> Hi, Lucas. Sorry if I ask Gacha. No, no problem. You guys can ask as many questions as you want. Don't mind me right now. I'm a little bit sleepy because we've been on lives for hours. So, and it got kind of late here as well. So we're going to eat some donuts and probably go to sleep, wake up, have suhoor. This might be part of my suhoor. Gacha too. Shout out to you. Where's the sugar? I need the sugar. Sugar's here, honey. Gary, Gary, Gary. Here, sugar it up. This is donut number three. Should bring it up a bit. I don't know about you guys, but I like cinnamon. It's like a light cinnamon too. It's not a strong one. We just have a little bit of cinnamon in here with the sugar. Taste makes it taste good. You guys, like I said before, if you guys have like families and stuff, it's good to start like traditions like this. It makes it fun. Like every Ramadan, 
or something or every holiday that you have. Make a special dessert or treat like this. Lots of sugar on that one, but it's so good. This one's done, honey. Hang on, hang on. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah, I gotta hit it off. No, why aren't you hitting it off then? It's just hot. Like it's huge. Hold it up. That's good. Yeah. That's beautiful, honey. You're doing a great job. I just hope the taste is just as good. Why is the dog saliva and pure? Huh? Huh? You're asking why a dog... It's considered impure as per our religion. Just like some other stuff that's considered impure. Dogs are, like, dogs kind of like everything. And I don't want to go into too much detail. You can research how our dog's saliva is not the cleanest. Uh, yeah, there's research on how dog mouths are cleaner than human mouths, but, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not like I'd want a human licking me either. <laughs> yeah. I would love to know more. Let's see, I'm not sure how to put this. I was wondering, I would like to know more about why the guys in Muslim Islam have to do a beard. I want to know, learn about this, because I thought one of the shorts you guys did say that, or is that true? All of the prophets had beards. Okay, so like it's a sunnah, it's, a, it's part of my identity as a man as well to keep a beard. It's just natural, it grows, it's just something that we do as men. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had a beard. Jesus, peace be upon him, had a beard. Abraham, peace be upon him, had a beard. Okay, all these prophets had a beard. It's just natural, it's part of our identity. Rabina is an awesome chef. I don't think so, guys. I don't consider I'm myself. Not now interested to food now. I'm interested to your wife how she can cook like that amazing meat for doing that I die. <laughs> she does cook well. I just did iftari and have this for dessert would be a dream. Yeah. Exactly. That's kind of what we're... It's like not so poor time yet, but it's like we're going to have it for a dessert. And then I'm going to go to sleep for a little bit, wake up, so we're... See guys, I, I made the indent on this. I made the indent on this one. You see that? You made it in there. Apparently the indent is a thing. Can you ask Mubina, can I fast if I have irregular bleeding? My name is Selena. Yes, you can. Depends on when your menstruation cycle is. So like, if you're going through your menstruation cycle, then you can't pray during those days. But once it ends, you can start praying again. Mert, do you guys have any tips for studying at university? I would just say, take your time trying to find a strategy that works for you and try to be efficient in the way you study. So if you guys are learning chapters in school and stuff like that. Yeah. Guys, how good. does it look? Looks good. Tell me how it looks. Looks good. Good job, honey. If you're learning chapters and it's taking you three hours, try to find a way to take it down to doing one hour per chapter or something like that. You gotta be efficient in how you study at university. Medina cooked for me, walaikum asalam. So many Portuguese people were, see. What do you re recommend for iftar? I'm Christian, but I'm going to start fasting tomorrow. Nice. Love from KSA. Lucas, that's awesome. For iftar, um, I would suggest when you're eating, you might get really hungry, right? I Don't suggest eating a bunch of food. Just gradually, slowly start eating. Don't stuff yourself because your you're going to get a stomach ache. So I would suggest you can, you can break it by having a date, some water. Then you can kind of eat whatever you want. It's up to you. Try to eat healthy if you can. This is me saying this while we're making donuts, but <laughs> it's good. Like saying you, this while making donuts? There's kind of, you can kind of choose what you want to do, Lucas. It's up to you what, what you want to eat, but that's great that you want to participate. Says the man eating donuts. Someone said, hi from Portugal, nice. Isabella, you tell us if we're making these good. Any suggestions on people spreading rumors about you? I'm currently dealing with that. A friend wanted to end our friendship, and I don't know how to handle it. Uh, it, it it's depends situation by situation. Even online, people try to spread rumors about us that are not true. And it can be difficult. Sometimes if you're able to ignore it and just move on, eventually it will, the rumor will fade over time. You just have to be patient. Try to ignore it if you can. It, it's difficult. But sometimes when 
when someone's throwing fire at you and you jump in with fire back, it just makes the fire bigger. So in certain cases, if someone's being ignorant or being rude to you, it's best to try to distance yourself, stay away from that person, and just ignore it. And then that rumor, inshallah, is going to pass. What do you think about your wife's cooking? It's amazing. Remember last one, Garrett? Last malasada. Last malasada. And then we'll try it. We'll show you a taste test. Are you guys planning to do a vlog anywhere? Yes, we are. It's very cold where we are, guys, so it's hard to do vlogs and plus COVID lockdown. But we are stuff. gonna do a day in the life uh, while we're fasting, so that you guys can kind of see how it is for us Chow, while yes. we're fasting. Yeah. Thanks for informing. It's best to pray and ignore them. Yes, and pray to God too. Pray to God for to help you through that situation. God can answer all of our stresses, guys. Certain things we don't have control over what people say about us. Just pray. So, guys, what do you think so far? Does it look? Like Portuguese donuts? I think so. It looks more so like it than last time, I think. Yeah? Well, I did cook the milk with like the butter this time. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. There's a rumor you make $1,000 per day from YouTube. Not even close. <laughs> what? Not even close. I wish. I wish. People think we're rich. We're not. <laughs> we make a very small fraction of what that is. $1,000 a day, man. How many people would we be able to help, like, with that money? No, not even close, guys. Mubina, when are you taking a trip to Pakistan? Inshallah, whenever we have enough money to do it. Yeah. We're saving up for, like, a vacation, so, like, hopefully we can do that. We want to go to Umrah first. We'd like, we we'd like to go to a Muslim place, or, like, yeah, Umrah, Hajj. We're, we're kind of just seeing what we want to do first. So if one of her female friends comes over, will she have to wear her hijab when she comes to the door to make sure he doesn't see her? I don't know, just a random thought. No, that's a good question, Charlotte. So it depends. Are they a Muslim or not? I'm assuming it's a Muslim. If it's a non-Muslim, they don't have to wear hijab here. That's up to them. If it's a Muslim girl, she's going to cover her hair when I'm here. But what happens is I'll usually go in my own bedroom so then to give them space so then the girl can take her hijab off and feel comfortable. On Friday, I'm going to pray for my mom because she's going into a surgery. Dark streams, I hope your mom is okay and that her surgery goes well. Tell Mubina to become a professional gamer to make six figures. Yeah. <laughs> if only. I'm sure many of us great answers. Thank you. I'm not a gamer, though. I'm not good at games. I always lose. And I'm a really bad loser, guys. I'm not a good loser. You, you both look beautiful like always. Thank you, Isabella. We're done! Okay, I need Nutella now. Look at this. Yay! Yes, we are interested. We would love to travel to Turkey someday. Look, now, it's beautiful. now it's going to be the best part where he tries it and then tells me how it is. Okay, give me a nod. Hop and hand. I need to take a picture first. I need to take a picture. Who wants some donuts? Who wants some Portuguese donuts? Come get some. Fresh out the bakery. Fresh out the bakery. <laughs> See how quick, guys, that wasn't even take that long. The part is like waiting for the dough to rise and all that stuff, preparing the dough. But once you got it, it's not that hard. It looks good, Sensum. Some... You guys could put Nutella on this. If you want, you could probably put jam on this. Whatever you want to put on it. It's got cinnamon sugar right now. You can even do without the cinnamon if you want. Just put sugar. Yeah. Sometimes they put a little bit of lemon on it. But you want to put lemon on no. it? No. <laughs> I don't care. It looks fabulous. Is that cachori? No. It's malasadas. This is a Portuguese donut. This is from my culture. This is my f cultural food. It's Portugal. Okay, so you want to take a Portugal. picture of that, honey? Yeah, I do, but my camera is at, in the bedroom. Can you go get it? Yes, I need it. Thank you, baby. Yes, dear. Be like that, guys. We're going to do a mini photo session for Instagram. Follow us on Instagram if you guys aren't already following. You guys us. can... See how we take pictures. I'm a bad person to like take pictures because like I just want to get to the food. I never have enough patience to like take a bunch of pictures. Garrett, isn't that true? I think neither of us are. Let me read some of your comments. Ooh, behind the scenes, yeah. Behind the scenes of how we take like bad Instagram pictures. <laughs> oh, I love the yes dear. Thank you. But you know what you say? Where do you get your veils from? So this one's actually from Um Anas. It's from a local store. But a lot of the ones I get are from Sunnah Style. Can you go to water park during fast? You can. Just don't swallow the water. Both of you are so sweet. Thank you. Do you speak Arabic? No, no, I don't. 
Assalamualaikum Vina Didi. Walaikum Assalam. You have such a lovely voice. Thank you. Guys, you did not see the disaster I went through with the kitchen in the other live. You guys don't want to miss that. Oh, my shoulders hurt here. Come on. Come on. Yes. I'll fix you up, honey. Massage them a little bit and go. Guys, get yourself a man that can massage your shoulder. <laughs> no, but in all honesty, I think like when the husband and the wife take care of each other, it's beautiful. Thank you. I love your channel. Thank you. Wish you guys could come up, come to see us for a meetup. Hannah, where are you located at? I'll definitely get it. You look so fabulous. Thank you. She is fabulous. It really changed my worldview. I grew up with horrible views on Islam. I'm happy I had a chance. Alhamdulillah. Silver, that's amazing. I was the same as you. I hated Islam. Guys, I hated Islam before. I didn't like Muslim. I didn't like Islam nothing. I changed my opinion just like you. So I'm one, I was one of you guys. So you have halal donuts, of course. Every single Absolutely. thing we used was halal in, in our ingredients. All the ingredients, everything's halal. Yeah. Can you exercise during you can. You can. It's exercise. harder. Just don't overdo it because like, like, you're going to get thirsty. Yeah. Gotta be careful with that. I, I struggle with it usually. Thank you so much. Alia, thank you for that. Does he wear shawar kameez? Um, here and there, here and there. Not often, but sometimes. You guys are lovely and funny too. Thank you. Isabella, I'm half Armenian, half Portuguese, so it's from my Portuguese side. Bubina took the initiative to learn how to make these and it tastes really good. Do you suggest converting for love? Not at all. No. Nope. Love the partner look. Did you arrange it? No, we didn't. Our Instagram is Medina TV. Same spelling. She's just taking pic. You guys can see. We'll be just taking a picture. Look at this, guys. This is how I take pictures for Instagram. Mehdi, you gonna cut your hair soon? Or do you like having long hair because of the sunnah? Um, sometimes it just grows out. I, I don't know. Like... As long as it's above the shoulder, it's okay. I don't know. Right now, I'm just kind of growing it. I might cut it soon. It's kind of long. You can see my hair is kind of long. I'm going to have to cut it soon. Do you like shawarma? Yes. If, if you do, how do you like it? I like mine with extra hummus and chicken. We tend to get like shawarma chicken and fries. But when we get a shawarma, Bobina likes her spicy. Okay, guys. Time for a taste test. Spice it up. Go to Sahor meal is <laughs> not much, guys. Usually, like a date in water. Yeah, let me take a picture with you holding it. <laughs> Gonna do it through here. Ew, dirty dishes in the back. <laughs> you wanna move, honey? Hmm? <laughs> guys, this is what That's happens. A struggle. You see? Dirty dishes in the back. That's a struggle, guys. I wish I had a dishwasher. Relatable, right? We go to like the nicest place of our house. And then we take a picture. Why don't you move on this side? Yes, honey. <laughs> this side. Mm -hmm. Go. Yeah. Still not the best, but whatever, we'll do. Better than nothing. We'll do. We'll be as a photographer, yes. Not really. Get down okay. and eat, honey. Sit down and eat. And tell them how it is. Actually, you know what? I'm going to record it for Instagram, too. Bit hot, honey. I don't care. You have to eat the hot Instagrammy. I don't speak Arabic, guys. <laughs> we read Arabic in the Quran, though. We don't speak the language. After seeing you guys, I want to get married too. <laughs> May Allah bless you with a spouse. What are you doing? Making an Instagram post. <laughs> Is this a video? Yes, it's a video. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Why don't you try one? Okay, let's this go. is a Portuguese donut that we made. It's malasadis. Malasadis. How hot is it? It's on a scale hot, of one to I ten. It's, I think it's like a doable right now. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna eat it? Absolutely. Ready? All right. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It's as big as your face, isn't it? So bismillah, guys. <laughs> you gotta rate it. Mm. How is it? Ooh, that's ten. 10? I like it. It's really? It's a little bit doughy, but it's really good at the same time. Why'd you give it a 10 if it's doughy? Because it tastes so good. <laughs> you guys like doughy, delicious, sugary. <laughs> doughy, delicious, sugary. Mm -hmm. Oh, it tastes like a bakery. <laughs> mm. Mm. So good. 
I'm so, I'm so distracted because you're taking a video on Instagram plus this. Guys, this is what it looks like on Instagram. You gotta read it. <laughs> Never gives a 10. I give a 10 for this. Oh god. Conchetta, yes, we actually went, our first iftar was actually with her family. We went to a restaurant. But it's really good at the same time. I think we're going to go to another dinner on Saturday as well, so. Some dinners, yeah, we do have iftar with family too. It's good to spend time with family as well, especially in Ramadan, guys. Okay, so why don't you try one? This is tasty. Portuguese donut that we made. How hot is it? Don't mind my eating, guys, it's just really good. So tasty. I'm gonna get a bowl because it's spilling. Do you actually like it? Do you actually like it? Are you doing better with reading Quran? Yes, I am. Trying to learn a little bit every day. Hmm. No, we don't speak Arabic. No, I need no. Some honey. Is it actually good? It's good, yeah, I like it. Is it moist enough for you? Mm hmm. It's moist. Moistly. Mm -hmm. If he gives it a 10, he has to like it. I do. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying it, guys. I'm sorry. You don't have to speak Arabic to be Muslim, guys. You know what my love language is, guys? French? No. <laughs> my love language is, if he says he likes it, that means he gets to eat all of these. Mm. I can't eat all that, honey. But you like it! But that's going to be like 2,000 calories. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I like it all inside you. You're going to get a lot of calories. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Cinnabons over there. I had a chocolate bar earlier. I gotta eat healthier this Ramadan. I suggest you guys eat healthier. Healthier. Have let a me, balance. Let me go outside and try some and come back inside and tell you guys how it is. Okay, because so you're gonna go try some. Maybe I'll have some blueberries in a sec, guys, because I need something healthy. I've been eating a lot of junk food for iftar. Mm. You can smell it through the screen. It smells really good. It smells like a bakery in here, guys. We have so much dough left, too. We should make uh, these for all of you guys. Hello again. Mm. Hello, hello. It's sweet, yeah, so it's got sugar on it. That's all sugar. It's like a sweet fried donut, it's good. Mm. So it is good. You have to work harder at the gym, that's facts, that's very true. People think we lose weight during Ramadan, we tend to gain weight. Because <laughs> we eat stuff like this. We eat stuff like this and we just gain weight. <laughs> I like it. It's very simple but very tasty. I think it's a seven. Is it seven? Mm -hmm. Well, we gave it a seven. Some lemon glaze would be really good. Yeah. So we actually put uh, a lot of people put lemon on it. I I guess for the flavor and stuff, it tastes good. But like we haven't done that. I think we should. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they incorporate lemon into it though. I think they added at the top, right guys? It's like a lemon gravy type thing. I'm kind of like wanting a second one. I might eat one more. You should take the thinner one. Like a, like half of one. They're big, that's the thing. Yeah, split one in half. Yeah. They're very good. Show them how it looks in the middle. Mmm, <laughs> It's not dry either, guys. It's got like... I don't like dry desserts or dry food in general. It's got enough moisture that it's good. 
Do you have to go vegan on Ramadan? No. Please don't show me I'm fasting, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm jealous, it looks so good. I'm Muslim and I'm 12 year old, do I have to fast? So when we hit like puberty age and we have to start fasting. Like people, you can fast even when before that. There, there are kids who have tried fasting too, but it becomes mandatory at a certain age. The sugar in my beard probably is. Oh. Mm. Mm. Did you just take a bite or did you eat a whole one? I tried eating some. I ended up eating like most of this. <laughs> Hey guys, just a tip when you're making this, don't make too much dough. <laughs> okay, in my defense, the recipe I was using said you can make 40 malasadas out of it. Who's going to eat 40? <laughs> True. Make like 10. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to eat 40 of them? <laughs> Who wants a bunch of these? We have so much dough, we can make like a bunch of these. Come get some guys, we'll make you some. Legit, and they're tasty, it's just there's so much to go around. Yeah. Make the rest of them for the needy people. <laughs> That's an idea. Maybe you can... Ooh, maybe we can give this to our neighbors. I think this is something we could give to our neighbors. Mm -hmm. It's good, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we should make some for our neighbors. Good idea. We might do that. We have so much dough, we probably might make some tomorrow as well. Make them a fresh batch and just like send it over. Mm. Yes, for you guys saying that, come come to Canada and have some. Thank you, Isabella. We appreciate it. No, our cat won't eat it. It's not good for the cat. <laughs> They actually, they probably would eat it, but. You staring you at me? It's coated with half sugar, half cinnamon. That actually was what it is. So it is cinnamon sugar. It's mixed in together. Yes, after the live, this one will be saved if you guys want to watch it. The name of the donut is Malasadish. Malasada. <laughs> Malasada. <laughs> you can look it up, Malasada. It's spelled like that. I'm gonna add some plain wrap to this and wrap it up. I'm full. <laughs> You're full? Mm. Babel. I'm gonna have to take a break from eating till so who works? Babel. You can't be full right now. I'm full, honey. I need you to cut this. Yes, dear. Cut it, please. Here. Here? Here? Yeah. I'm gonna need one more. This big. Same size. If you guys were our neighbor, would you want this? <laughs> yeah, we don't want to give our neighbor something they're not gonna eat. Do you guys think this is something they would want? I just don't want to give them something that they don't want. Say yes if you would have it. If we were your neighbors and we gave this to you, would you eat it? Yes, definitely. Okay, good. Good, they said yes. I needed one more. Oh, here you go, honey. Guys are like our family, watching us put our food away. See all that dough, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Look how much dough there is! That could probably make like, ooh, how many could that make? Like 30? Like 20, like maybe 15 more. 15 more, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. We could make like 15 more. Especially Canadians, they'll love it. How do you guys make the dough? We were making it actually on a previous live, if you guys want yeah. to watch that. You guys can watch our previous live because it's on that. Yeah. 
Ramadan's going well. I hope you guys are having a good Ramadan. Come to India, Hyderabad, and biryani is so good and lefty. Would love to. Guys, today I'm not feeling so well, so please pray for me. You're not feeling well today? Yeah. You've been a trooper, honey. She should go rest. But thank you so much for all of you guys that joined us on our live the second time. Were you on our live before? Or no? Let us know. Why? What happened? I'm just not feeling well, guys. I'm kind of in a lot of pain and... <laughs> Yeah, I have a hand problem right now, wrist problem. Hope you feel better moving now. Thanks for going live, guys. No problem. Yes, guys, if, if you can keep her in your duas and your prayers, if she feels better, that would mean a lot. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Alina, wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Can I ask? Of course you can ask a quick question, sure. Sure, what's your question? Um, so Chloe, you're on the live. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> the last live we did was kind of crazy. It was fun. Oh, the last live was messed. With the fire I was making kitchen. so many mistakes. Like, I've never made that many mistakes in the kitchen before. It was like nothing was working out. Adina asked, would it be disrespectful if I wore the hijab on Eid just to surprise my Muslim partner? I'm not Muslim. Oh, that would be beautiful. No, I think he'd be really happy. He'd probably be really happy. You yeah. should do that if you want. That would be really nice. It's so nice when you guys are considerate to our faith, and we want to be considerate to you guys too. It's just like, when you, when you guys do acts like this, and you participate in fasting and stuff, it's really nice. Where was the last live saved? I couldn't find it. Look, you won't miss it if you see the thumbnail. It's like fire. We had a fire in our home. So go on our, our uploads on YouTube, and you should see one. It's like, it says, almost burn the house down. <laughs> was it awkward to get your first hijab because then everyone knew you hit puberty? I hope you feel better. No, actually, I wasn't a hijabi at puberty, or even after puberty for that matter. I didn't ever think I would wear a hijab. I hated it. Um, I had hijabs at home because my school uniform had a hijab in it, and uh, like I wore hijab for praying and stuff. So I had hijabs at home. It was never awkward. It wasn't. It's not like we buy our hijabs as soon as we hit puberty. <laughs> we kind of have those laying around at home, so we just start wearing them. I might consider converting from Christianity to Islam, but I don't understand. I would just suggest do your research. You can look at debates between the two faiths, Christianity and Islam, and search up your questions. Uh, don't, like, make sure it's in your heart before you do it. Like, don't just, like, say, oh, I feel like it. Like, make sure you understand why you want to do that and stuff. Yeah. I bet you slept on it wrong. We'll be in the Mehdi cook iftar. So that iftar is actually going to be for a few days, but maybe I will cook an iftar. We'll see. If we'll be able to even like it. So if you're poor and you have medical conditions, what do you do during Ramadan? Only your mouth is showing. <laughs> Me? Yeah. It's because I don't have a chair. Did you guys, have you guys ever seen Powerpuff Girls? There's this lady in Powerpuff Girls whose face never oh, shows. You know what I'm like? I'm it's not... Mayor's secretary. Yeah. That's how you are right now. Aren't I like the wizard? Yeah, the wizard. The wizard, and what's that show called? Proud Family. Proud Family. I'm the wizard, guys. You'll never see my face. <laughs> you guys remember Proud Family? I always wanted to see his face. It was like a permanent niqab. <laughs> the first live with the fire, Isabella, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that fire was unexpected. And Alhamdulillah, guys, things like that can happen, but thank God that that did not go get worse. Mm -hmm. Does playing video games break your fast? No. You should be mindful of how much time you're spending playing video games in Ramadan and which games you're playing as well, but yeah. it does not break your fast. Do you drop the full recipe for the donuts in the last life? So, no, I haven't dropped the recipe because that recipe is like for 40 donuts. <laughs> the last life got me up till so far. I know, at 80, that was fun having you. Okay, but I can tell you what the recipe is like right now orally. Um, I use six eggs. And then I used roughly seven cups of flour, or seven and a half cups of flour. And um, seven and a half cups of flour, two cups of milk, half a, half a stick of butter, two cups of milk, half a stick of butter, a little bit of salt, and then I used sugar, two cups of sugar. Yeah. 
Basically, that's what it was. I mean, in Portuguese, such rich cultures. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys get hurt from the fire? Thankfully, no, we didn't. Thankfully, no, no we didn't. No. Guys, I, I've i worked in the kitchen. I know how to take care of a fire. Even fires like that, like, you just gently pour water on it and it goes away. It's happened before. But the way he threw it was just hilarious. He literally just like, Psh! Are you guys looking forward to Squid Game Season 2? If it actually happens, it, it happens. took them 10 years to make the first one. <laughs> Love your outfit and, and kind of matching your husband's Abaya color. The pronunciation yeah. of Portuguese is really good on Brazilian. Which pronunciation? Malasadas. Malasadas. I was fasting in Canada. How many hours is it? I think ours is like 15 hours. Yeah. 15 hour fast. 15, 16 hours, I think. I go to a Catholic school and I was wondering if there are Muslim schools too. If so, are hijabs required? Sorry for all the questions. There are Islamic schools. Hijab was a requirement for me in my Islamic school, so I couldn't yeah. just uh, wear my uniform without the hijab. But it's a little bit weird because I went to Catholic school and it was like free, but then Islamic school you have to pay like 500 bucks a month. Yeah. So there's like, it's pretty expensive to send your kid to an Islamic school. And you have to pay for the uniform and everything, so... We did too, but like that's all we had to pay for. We had to pay for our books too. I went to a Catholic school, guys, when I was a kid. Yeah. In high school, elementary school, everything. Should have known. 7-Eleven or Cos Costco, hands down. <laughs> I get happy when you read my comment. We try to read them. Alright guys, we're actually going to end our live now because I'm so sleepy. we got to sleep guys, we're going to go to sleep, wake up in a few hours for Sahur. Yeah. It's like 12.36 right now. Really tired. I'm really tired right now. She's not I'm feeling even good that too. tired, but I, it's probably because I'm not feeling well. But yeah guys, it was very nice talking to you. And I hope you enjoyed our disaster of a live. <laughs> That we had today. This one was more chill. This live that we just did was more this chill. This one was chill because everything was prepared and ready. <laughs> the one before, I'd say, probably was would be more entertaining for you guys if you yeah. want to see like some chaos happening. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you for that, by the way. Alina, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. You guys are super kind. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. Until next time. Allah Hafiz. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Yeah.